Hello everyone, I'm Genesis. I'm Jumba. And this is... Let's see how this goes. This is the mushroom pillow. Yeah, I was just going to mention the mushroom pillow. <laughs> so what are we doing this weekend, Jumba? We are trying a new recipe. Because um, it's like 8.30 at night. So where'd you find this recipe? I found it on the Yumbly app. They get it from different sources around the interwebs. So maybe I can try to link it. If I can find it on the internets, but I'm mixing up my own it up a little bit. And it's called like I'm calling them spinach puffs, and um, it's basically little croissants with spinach, feta in it, and you toast them. This called for some mozzarella. Um, I didn't want to buy two types of cheeses, <laughs> so I'm not using mozzarella. It also called for black olives in there. I don't want black olives in there. <laughs> I don't want no olives with my spinach and feta. And also called for red peppers, but it didn't say in the recipe what to do with them, so I'm just not going to include them. If this experiment goes well, um, she's going to try and make one for me with bacon bits and cheese and other goodies in there. So goodies. if it turns out good enough, then <laughs> well, let's get to her. Yeah. So I'm going to make some spinach puffs. Do you think they'll come across loud enough? You got it. I learned it's from Just a Pinch. Is that's a website that means something to you. It says chop the spinach and the olives. I already told you all, I ain't doing no olives. But over here, I did already pre-washed the spinach. So it's been drying. I assume I will have to cut off the stems. That sounds like so much fun. <laughs> so, I guess we can pop back when that is chopped and in the bowl. Again, it calls for two cans of, not two cans, good call, of <laughs> crescent, croissants, not crescents. I just did one because I'm the only one who's eating them. So I did, I, I peeled the spinach, I did not cut it. So I got that in the bowl, the rest will go to the buns in increments, not all at once. <laughs> So is to add the feta. Well, add the olives at this time too, but we ain't doing olives. I'm basically going for spanikopita, which is a Greek dish, but with a croissant instead of the key logo. And supposedly we could add red pepper flakes, but that just doesn't seem to go to me. With spinach? It might. And it might add some extra salt because they said it's optional. The oven's set to 350, Fahrenheit. Celsius, <laughs> so we're burning alive. Just keeps adding more, I didn't know. <laughs> this looks like enough cheese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the cheesier the better in my book. Okay. Cheese. And this is from our one of our favorite stores, mm -hmm. the cheese store. This one is a Benning, which is like a Gouda goat. We is bought more than this, I just ate a lot. <laughs> it is a goat cheese, right? Yeah, it's a Gouda go. Just crumble it a little bit. Will I be able to taste it over the feta? Probably not, but it's a thought that counts. You can't go wrong with more cheese. That's how I cook stuff. Let's get that good lemon. Just a, a smidgen of salt, but then just some peps. My tossing face. <laughs> Again, the June bug method. Yeah, say tossing doesn't seem like that. Maybe if you had a bigger mixing bowl. Or if I was a chef. It seems very basic. It's spinach and cheese. It's salt and pepper. Yeah, maybe that's why they shoved olives in it. Like it's fancy. I have olives and red pepper flakes. <laughs> Genesis did a video last week making something. I'm doing something this week, but not as bad. Okay, since we're not monetized, these are Pillsbury. <laughs> it says start here and I'm starting, it's just not cooperating. You listen here, Pillsbury, don't boy. <laughs> I didn't even touch it! <laughs> the spoon didn't do an oven! <laughs> oh, that's scary. You must be brave, Junebug. Yeah, I'll do. Um, 
Are mine going to look like a perfect croissant? Probably not. Let's get started. That's not going to fit. I think I had to make the spinach smaller. Um, Do what you can. <laughs> Smushes it into the raw dough. Mm. Alright. That feels chunky. This does not look like a croissant. Oh, well, kinda. Well. Yeah. It's like a, a healthy cannoli. Get back in there. I did that so fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely did not need 16 of these as it called for, but they're probably thinking for um, sharing at a gathering. <laughs> Not just one lady at her house. There's a little bit left over. Do you the, want it? No, finger food for Jumbug. Yeah, finger food. I never use fork. Now here comes some interesting parts. It seems very professional. I have to get an egg white and coat them with it. How, it. how do you get an egg white? Um, I've seen people do it on the TV. So I think I can do it. <laughs> on the TV. A sweaty egg. Did that? Oh, I just pouring it out and then letting the yolk sit in the. Okay. See, I know things from TV. Okay, we got the egg white, and we have one of those little brushies for just this occasion. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. <laughs> Would you just gag if I slurped it? Yep. So would I. It's <laughs> like beef. I know it's a bit yellow, but I think I, I did what it mainly asked for, right? Mmm. Just like that. Instead of coating them with egg yolk or egg white, I wonder how much different they'd taste if you coated them with butter instead. Because I assume this is just to give them some crisp. Mmm. I love rubbing eggs not on my food. Okay. And in the oven they go. I think so. Time to get them out of the oven. <laughs> See how they turned out. Oh. They do look nice and crispy. Oh, it smells very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is a nice golden brown too. I think that's what the egg does. Mm -hmm. mm, well. So we wait for them to cool. And yeah, then I'm not trying it right at this second. <laughs> wait for them to cool and then taste test. See how it goes. Yeah, they look pretty dang good. I like that one. That's got a nice real croissant vibe. So does that one. Balance of truth. It feels like a croissant. Smells like a croissant. <laughs> it's a great taste test. Yeah, bland it on. Good. No. Hmm. Do it again. <laughs> I don't know if the inside cooked all the way. Oh, yeah. Those look a little gooey. I zoomed in thinking it was not going to be blurry, and it was blurry. We need a new camera. <laughs> These are actually really dang good. It could be the croissant, and I just love croissants, but these are really good. Uh, 9 out of 10, recommend. Thank you for the surge of views right now, guys. Oh, yeah, we're up to 170 plus subscribers, so thank you. Yeah, thanks, guys. Don't know why you keep joining, but thank you. <laughs> Quality content like this. So, we got a success here, guys, and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye bye.